Hi, and welcome to Category Management Knowledge Group's weekly category management tip. If you don't know about CMKG, I'll just share this with you. We provide category management training solutions that are driven from a foundation of accredited e-learning courses. I'm Sue Nichols, the president and owner of Category Management Knowledge Group. To be frank, I love category management, and my team and I at Category Management Knowledge Group want to share our passion and knowledge with you. So every week, I'll be providing a new tip through YouTube on a subject that will change every month. Each tip will be less than five minutes long and full of great information and ideas for you to consider in your own role. Our topic for January is private label. So for the next four weeks, I'll be posting tips that relate to private label. Our first tip relates to the essentials that you need to understand about private label. So let's get started. First, we need to define private label. Private label brands are typically those manufactured or provided by one company for offer under a retailer's brand name. Private label goods are available in a wide range of categories from food to clothing to power tools and general merchandise. They're often positioned as lower cost alternatives to national brands, although over the past few years some private label brands have been positioned as premium brands to compete with existing name brands. There are many other terms that are synonymous with private label. So if you're thinking of private label as being any of these descriptions, we're talking about the same thing. Private label can be one of a retailer's biggest points of differentiation from their competition. For most retailers, national brands fill their stores, and there are rarely items or brands that can't be purchased across multiple retailers, except, of course, for private label. Many retailers have learned that a one-size-fits-all type of corporate private label strategy is not going to work for them. This is because of that all-important consumer that we need to focus on in all of our category management decisions. Retailers need to be as strategic about their private label brand as national brand suppliers are with theirs. So how is this done? First, retailers need to understand the consumer groups that purchase their products or that are their target for future innovation and opportunities. This includes understanding the private label brand demographics and their purchase behaviors. Next, they need to determine what formats, banners, and or store clusters match best with the private label brand, once again utilizing demographic and purchase behavior data. From here, they need to develop some overall strategies at a format, banner, or store cluster level. They also need to understand their private label brand at a category level. Private label opportunities should be assessed at a category level where targets can also be established. The tactics need to be understood and guidelines for establishing the private label brand at a category level. This strategic approach will allow retailers to establish overall corporate strategies for their private label brand, including some basic tactical strategies. And then it gives them the ability to create target shares and tactical results based on how the private label brand performs within different categories. Here's a simple example to show you how a retailer with three different private label brands across the top of this table within their organization can be more strategic with the three banners down the bottom left hand side of the table that they compete in. Each private label brand has different corporate strategies and so does each banner. The retailer has managed to match up each of their three private label brands with the banners that best match with their overall strategies. So assortment and tactics will vary across each brand and each banner. From here, each category will have even more specific targets based on the private label's brand performance at a category level. This becomes much more strategic than treating each of these three brands the same across the three banners. You should now have a better understanding of the importance of private label to a retailer's overall identity, as well as the strategy that needs to be defined for their private label at both a corporate and category level. For suppliers, don't ignore the private label competition or avoid it. How well do you understand the positioning of your brands relative to your retailer's private label brands? 
You need to invest to understand private label trends across key departments and categories and explore opportunities to partner, where appropriate, with retailers to bring consumers multi-tiered consumer packaged goods solutions. I hope you've enjoyed my first tip in the category management series, with many more to come. Next week's session is going to cover some examples of private label data and analytics, relevant for both retailers and suppliers. You can also visit and or subscribe to my blog if you haven't already done so. If you're interested in category management training, please visit our website. And finally, we're very active in LinkedIn, Facebook, and Twitter, so please connect with us. Thanks, and we'll see you next week. Thanks, and we'll see you next week.